Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Break Talos Principle 2, the only series where the award for best puzzle solver goes to Yakut. So today we're going to be doing the um, Wooded Plateau, the second area. And first thing we're going to do is just get that right there. And then we are going to head over to 2. We're going to do that one first. Uh, because there is a jammer that we can smuggle out of it and use for a whole bunch of other puzzles. We do have to solve this one normally, unfortunately. That's really easy, though. I think we just take that. We'll jam this from the inside. That lets us take this. I think... Let me move this over here. Yeah, that'll work. Just grab that and leapfrog this through as well. Jam that, bring this through. Oh, uh, oh yeah, we only need one item here. Okay. See, 1K isn't physically incapable of solving puzzles, he just doesn't like to. Alright, now that all these are open, we're just going to put this right here. And using our favorite trick of just grabbing things through the walls, we're going to get that out. Where is it at? Right there. Okay. So we're going to take this over to 1. And 1 and 3 are going to be extremely simple once we use this jammer. Alright, so 1. Just like this. Bam! And then we're gonna head to 3. I keep thinking... And similarly, this one is extremely simple. What are we being tested for? It can't just be about spatial reasoning. Oops, that's not my jammer. Alright, and then I think we are going to take this to 5 next. My impression is that it's full of contradictions. 4 is probably the last puzzle we're going to end up doing, because it needs the most things. Alright, so we're just going to climb the little hilltop up here outside of 5, and we're going to use it to jam the door leading to the pedestal. We are going to have to solve a tiny little bit of five, but it'll be nothing like actually doing the puzzle. Okay, that should stay. Stay put. Okay, so... We just need that jammer. We need that. Okay, I know what to do. Just like that. And that way we can turn on this fan. And climb out of the pit. And there we go. Another puzzle solved. Alright, next up is seven. I don't remember if we need that lab or not. I know some of them have schematics you need to use to access new areas. I don't remember if that's one of them or not, but I will come back later if I need it. So this one. There we go. Let me just get this cube here. Let me jump up on top of this wall. And I think from here we can just run all the way over to the pedestal. Ooh, big jump. Nope. One more try. Ooh, why is that giving me trouble? I've never had trouble with that jump before. There we go. Guess it's just a finicky box placement to get it right. Okay, let's see if we can make this jump this time. <laughs> nope, skimmed across the top of the barrier. 
third time's the charm. Nope. Ah, uh, shucks. I think I need to reset it now. Which means we'll have to, have to get that uh, jammer back out of two again, but that's fine. Take this. There we go. Fourth time is the charm. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't think that would do that. Any progress on the particle clouds, Melville? It's pretty clear they're integral to how all of this functions. I've gathered a lot of data, but I still have a lot of numbers to crunch before okay. I can give you an answer. So we're going to take this, we're going to drop it off by four. Another question. Actually, I just remembered we need to take this to eight first. Okay, so then right up here in this corner, you can just drop this and get up on top of here. It is possible to get up here without this box, but it is extremely difficult. Then we just jump in, leave that right there. We're going to connect a single laser to blue. We just jump up right here. And look at that. Smart one, Kay. Uh, thank you very much. I agree. I mean, like, clearly, you know what you're doing. You know what? It might actually be possible to just get this right back out. Heck yeah, it is. All right, so we're gonna take this over to four. And we're going to need to go get our jammer back from 5 as well. Did I have to reset a puzzle? I may have had to reset a puzzle. I think I'll have to run back to 2 for the jammer. Okay, is the jammer in here? Yes, it is. right over to six. My original plan was just to do six as normal, um, because you can't really get anything into the puzzle, but then I remembered you can just jam it from the outside and that will certainly make it easier. We love easy puzzles. Just a robot walking through the woods, not solving any puzzles. Alright, we're just going to jam that immediately. I don't think that's 100%. You can't grab that, can you? No, you can't. Okay, so we do have to solve just a tiny bit of this. But really not much at all. So we're just going to take that, use that to free this. Technically, we don't actually need to get this out from up here, um, because that is already jammed. That didn't uh, drill for some reason. But I do want to get the jammer out, so I think I do need to get a second jammer here. Or not jammer, uh, driller. Okay. So we just need to power that. Put that there. 
there. Use the other one here. So I guess I did end up solving most of this puzzle. I did skip having to use both jammer uh, drillers there, but I guess that really didn't save much time, did it? Okay. Oh, and I actually, yeah, do need... Okay, so I guess we are solving basically the whole puzzle anyway. Well, that didn't save much time. Alright, let's take that fan blade again. Yep. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Where did I drop that? Hopefully just right on the ground. Oh, well that is, uh, certainly... Okay, I just need to grab it while I'm flying. Hmm. This could be tricky. Okay. I've certainly made this a lot harder on myself than it needed to be. I'd rather not have to reset it because then I'd have to get a bunch of stuff from other puzzles again. Okay, I need to look more down. When I meant break puzzles, I didn't really mean it like this. I don't know if I can actually grab that from there. Alright, let's just do this normal. This would be a lot simpler if I did not need the uh, jammer. Or the, uh, why do you keep saying jammer? Driller. get stuff out of this puzzle, there's a, a little gap right around the corner here. It's pretty easy to get to, but I'm probably going to fail a few times, because I'm... Oh, I had it that time. No! Almost had it that time. Alright. And it's just even more annoying if you accidentally hit that fan afterward. So just jump to the right. There we go. Just like that. So I want to take this over to four. Where is four? I really hate this compass sometimes. Sometimes you just cannot find what you're looking for. Four, right there. So I just wanna just get that out of the way right there. And we are gonna need two cubes at four. So the one is from seven. We're just gonna back, jump back up onto this wall, take the cube out. We're gonna run it all the way back to four, all the way on the other side of the map, basically. And then our other cube is gonna be in one of the lost puzzles. Here we are at the Lost Puzzle. And similarly to 7, um, it's strange that some of these puzzles oh yeah, we need this here. Disconnected from they, uh, in 1.1, a minor, minor change they made is they moved this over so that you can't just use this uh, to drill a hole in the wall and deactivate the barrier at the same time. I don't know what implications that has on solving the rest of the puzzle, because I am not solving the rest of the puzzle. This is all we will ever see of this puzzle. And from here, you can just jump up on top. And there we go. Alright, time for the long trek back to four. It's 
there's something right around here I'm trying to spawn in, but I don't remember exactly where the trigger is. Yep, there it is. Yeah, so deer are like one of my favorite animals, so I was very excited to see this uh, pop up when I came through here the first time. Little buddy, let me cut you. I want to ride you. Even though you don't look like you're any faster than I am. Okay. Back to four. Okay. So this one's kind of a tricky jump. I've gotten this first try sometimes, and then I have taken 20 minutes to get it sometimes, so we'll see which one it is this time. If you get it just right. Right inside here. Hey! First, well, second try. And then we just go back out. We're going to do that a second time. Please be easy. I swear, I have tried this jump for half an hour sometimes and failed to get it. So I'm surprised I got it that fast the first time. We do need all three cubes in this puzzle to do something. It's not to make it easier to solve. Um, that's what the driller right there is for, if it even does make it easier to solve. But it will let us do something kind of interesting afterward. Man, why is this game so finicky when you don't play it the way you're supposed to? Remember that curse I mentioned from the episode one when we were in the tutorial? Where I can do something almost perfectly on the first try and then just completely lose any ability whatsoever to do it again. I'm guessing you guys are about halfway through the fast forward montage, um, so I hope you are. Ooh, that was really close. Should have had it that time. Bet this looks hilarious in fast forward. Hey, I got it. I really didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. Okay. So we should be able to cheese this pretty easy now. Just grab that, use that to get the other cube. Take our other cube back. I know we're going to need this to get the connector on the other side. And then this driller honestly is... Uh, what I could do, since that is already drilled open, I'm going to refuse to figure out how this is supposed to be done, and I'm just going to swap this driller here with the cube, which honestly is, no, it's not what you're supposed to do because you need, you're supposed to need the driller for that. Okay, so now that we have all three of our cubes here. So let's first just solve this the normal way, which I believe is as simple as doing this, turning that on. Yep. Alright. And the really fun thing we're going to do, we are going to put this up here. We're going to make a nice big stack of cubes on top of this fan. You do need all three cubes. It doesn't really look like you'd need all three cubes to get up here, but there's oh, there is a invisible wall, so they obviously were trying to keep people out of there. I guess they just didn't anticipate somebody bringing three cubes into this puzzle. Yep, that was a bad jump. Turn this off. Just rushing on pretty much. Supposed to do like that. Turn it off. Let's there and jump on. Okay. If I can get a real jump going here. Yeah, there we go. So I was really hoping I'd be able to cheese this puzzle by, like, using another cube up here to uh, 
jump down into there. Unfortunately, I can only find three cubes in this entire area. One of them's already in here, and we already smuggled the other two in. So I just don't have a fourth cube. Um, and you, yeah, see, here's the invisible wall. You can't even, oh, you can jump over it, okay. But, uh, yeah, it takes all of the cubes you have just to get up to it. And then you can't reach the cubes afterward. There we go. Keep forgetting what I have to do. Uh, now that we're on here, and this wall actually only goes to about right here. Yeah, right about there. So I believe that is, yep, that is all eight puzzles solved. So uh, we're actually going to do Easter eggs now. And the first Easter egg is right up on top of this plateau. Let's hope I get this first try. Ooh, that's the first time I've failed that jump. It's whatever. Easy to reset. up here around the back side is our first easter egg. It's a little teddy bear dude sitting on a chair enjoying the scenery. And there is our next spark that we're gonna get. You know I don't know if these uh, little platforms here are for anything or if they're just decoration but they're weird because they're just sitting here in the middle of nowhere doing nothing. And they're not even, like, near a puzzle, and they're not along a path. Alright. There we go. And our next Easter egg is right over here on the other side of four. It's just funny looking in here and seeing a stack of three cubes sitting on a fan. I love that. I just wish I could find a fourth cube anywhere in this freaking zone. Okay, so we just follow this cliff up here. Oh yeah, and here's one of those uh, little easter egg holograms too. It's a little like a uh, family of people who can't really tell, but they don't really seem happy. I'm not sure. Anyway, just go right up here. Make this jump around the side here, and then we come up along this very steep uh, cliffside. And then back down here. And here we're on the far side of uh, the other lost puzzle. I think it's technically possible. Oh, yeah, I think they changed that now so you can just jump on those rocks there. I like my way better anyway. Right over here we have solar panels, and if you use the solar panels, Makes you run faster. Or super fast now. Yeah, so you could probably just jump up here now, can't you? Oh, yeah. Or fail. Ooh, I'm still alive. Wow, they really let you go far down. Alright, our next Easter egg. We need to head over to seven. Right up this cliff here. There are fireworks. This is like a very serious stam style. Easter egg. This is exactly the kind of thing you'd find in a serious Sam game. Oh, what is that? Okay, let's set them off. Oh, 
Oh wow, they're still here. The everlasting fireworks. Alright, and then for the next easter egg we just have to head as far down this cliff as we can without jumping off of it. It's right over here, I think. Yep. And right down here we will find a boot and a sock. That's all there is to it. Just a boot and a sock. Actually, I took a really cool photo of this in photo mode. Um, I'll probably pop up on the screen right now. Yeah. That was a fun one to take. Okay, next Easter egg. We're going to go to eight. Actually going to go to the lost puzzle by eight. And then just south of it, down a cliffside. Where was it? Was it right here? I think it was west. Yeah, I think it's right over here. Yep, right here. Oop. This is uh, one of the drones from Serious Sam 4. I'll probably look up a picture of it in Serious Sam 4 and pop it up on the screen now. Yeah, okay. I don't think there's any way back up from here. Maybe there is. See if I can parkour it. Maybe. make it. Yeah, 1k survives. Okay. Might as well just show off all the Easter eggs, at least all the ones that are in that Steam guide. Um, the next one is over by 5. I probably could have done these in a better order. Yep, there's the gold puzzle. It says just right behind here in one of the trees there is a hatchet. A very simple Easter egg. Yep, here it is. Nice. Alright, next one. Alright, I believe we need to solve the bridge to get the next two easter eggs, the final two easter eggs. Okay. Let's not make a fool of myself now. puzzles that 1k actually has to do. There we go. That wasn't too hard. So our second last easter egg is right over here. It's just a whole bunch of paintings in the woods. Uh, so some of these paintings can be found inside the tower in New Jerusalem. Um, some of them are brand new paintings that are only found out here. They're pretty cool. Pretty high resolution on them as well. You can really zoom in on these. Alright, and I haven't actually personally seen the last easter egg. But it is supposedly up here. I am not going to try that, so we're going to go into photo mode. It is up here on this cliff somewhere. says it will not activate until you get quite close to it. Hey, 
Hey, here it is. Yeah, they weren't kidding. That really fades in. Close. There it is, just a little kitty face. Alright. With all the Easter eggs out of the way, um, the only thing, actually, there's two things we have to do. Um, there are certain social media things here I have to answer. Okay, we do want to give permission. Hmm, I don't really think it matters how we answer these. Yeah, it really doesn't, so I'm just going to be empty-headed 1k. I don't know. Ooh, I didn't mean to cancel out of that. I don't know. I just don't know. It's neither. I just don't know. one we need to say it's important to remember she was a real person and but they were but they were then we've just got what's 1k like and for this one I just need to say I don't know who I want to be Still deciding. Okay. So with all that out of the way, let's go finish this episode up. here. Prometheus. We'll consider him. Then perhaps. Big laser gun. How many of those bloody things are there? There are twelve of them. to get back onto the transit system and we'll go to the third and final area on the east side of the island. I don't remember what it's called. Flooded Delta, something like that. Okay, it looks like we actually do need to use the lab in here. Hold, please. Wow, that's a lot bigger than I expected. What were they doing here? And who ah, I'm being hacked. They're trying to fix me. I can just skip this, I think. Yep. Alright, hopefully this will unlock the third area. I think you just have to use the lab. Yep, 
Yeah, did the trick. Eastern Wetlands, that's what it's called. Okay. After Wong Kei found those labs, I started thinking. Where did all the tech come from? All right, so as always, if you've made it all the way to the end of this series so far, uh, thank you, you're awesome. Uh, as always, if you have any comments, suggestions, tips, etc., just leave them in the comments. Uh, I read all of them, and I will take them into consideration for the next episodes. Uh, so on next episode, we will tackle this weirdly shaped thing. There will be a lot of lasers in the next episode. Very laser-centric. So, uh, that's it. Alright, peace. And there we go. Six solved in an unnecessarily complicated, yet also unintentionally simple way. So we're just going to jump up here. And we're just going to connect this laser to the connector there. That's really not what I meant to do. 